this will be the first of a few videos I'll put together detailing some of the work I've been doing on first metatarsophalangeal joint injections. Long been an interest of mine, and you'll see from my other playlist that injection therapy is really one of my things. So this is some work I'd done on cadaver. So I'd look to try and develop a best practice first MTPJ joint injection technique. And then I wanted to prove that it was easy to do using palpation guidance. So I'd taken some cadavers. Here you see a foot chopped off mid shin. And I'd put in some radio opaque dye under an x-ray machine to see where the injectate had gone to try and prove the injection was accurate. Now in actual fact, I found that of the injections I did, one out of six was inaccurate. It was a surprise, that's quite a high percentage. And two out of the six had some blowout of the plantar metatarsophalangeal joint capsule. So put a, a dye in under x-ray and see where it went. So video coming up of the technique. There's the injectate going in, and you can see it spreads in the joint. So that's one of the successful injections, and that confirms that the knee replacement was accurate. Now, just to give you an idea of what's involved with research. So this is for my research subdirectory. These are my um, doctoral papers I've been working on for the last few years. And just for the cadaver study, which was part of it, this was, I think, about version 17 by the time we actually had a, an accepted publication with various other templates and drafts these are all the pictures and supplementary files I took um, I think we used about five in the paper and um, a lot more supplementary files and then these are all the ethical considerations emails back and forth to my prof supervisors and various correspondence with the ethics committee just to give you an idea of what's involved trying to get some prospective work done in a university setting with proper level ethics but eventually we managed to get a paper done. This was published June last month. So here we are in July 2022. So it was published in June 2022 with my profs, Natchi Chokalingam and Ruzbe Nimi. Excellent researchers of the highest standard. Quite proud of this paper. And what we found was that palpation guided techniques are not as accurate as, as we thought. And some do in fact miss. And there will be um, ideas and concepts for future research. So... As I say, first of a series of videos, because I've got quite a few videos and dozens of pictures to share, and I'll start to put together some more vids for you. Thanks for watching.